just grateful that we are, that we're here. Let me just be clear. <laughs> I don't know that there's, you know, just, just having that clarity come through for me, I don't know that there's ever been a year where that was so very clear, that there's a level of basic gratitude for being here. I'm not clear that, that any of us who haven't served in wars or lived in war zones or, you know, there are a number of things in, in historical culture and in current common culture that have folks, I was listening to, to something where the person, I, it feels like it was a work of art that the individual was part of the spoken word was that they hadn't expected to live to like even their 20s. And so I recognize and I'm not, I just want to honor that that's present for many people and, and their extended family and community and gen just generations. And something has happened over the past, not quite two years, that has brought all of us, it's been the great equalizer in a sense, where, where before, I think, groups of people felt they could stand in a protected, entitled place of not being at risk. And now this this and many other pandemics, this and other pandemics that, that we are, are present to and engaged in have, have made us fully aware of how precious life is. So we launched 2022 with a new awareness, with a new awareness that each of us is responsible for our living and our care. We've gotten a different sense as we are, or the, the few folks that are in the room are all masked. And I know that there are people in other countries to which I have traveled who've been wearing masks. And that was my, one of my first wake-up calls um, before we were officially in a pandemic. You know, but before the CDC started issuing mandates and recommendations and such that I was sitting on BART and there was a, a very tall Asian man who was standing. I was seated and there was plenty of seats, but he was standing and that's how I saw him and I'm so grateful. And he had on gloves and a mask and I was just raw dogging it, I guess. <laughs> and there I sat and I kept noticing him. And I felt like, what's wrong with this picture? <laughs> because we now had an awareness, but we hadn't been given all the information. And I thought, next time you see me, I'm going to be masked. And it just occurred to me, and my first move was mask and gloves. You know, and, and so that for me was one of those first steps of taking responsibility. And I had my own thoughts about, you know, what I ought to do and how it ought to work, but... I also knew that I was responsible for my health and well-being. And I thought, okay, thank you, brother. <laughs> thank you. I see you. And I'm aware that there's something about the quality of the air. Because I don't know if you re remember, but f a few years ago when the f there were fires up in Santa Rosa, and that's, those were the masks that I had. Because the, and it, I just began to connect the dots. Somebody needs to be amen and not necessarily out loud, but I'm trying to say something about, we don't necessarily have to wait for a Dr. Fauci. I'm just offering that um, that would be a good thing as we take responsibility for our our own health and well-being, yes? So happy new year, y'all. Happy new year, heart and soul. And some, some of y'all gonna have to speed up because if we're going together, it means that we're gonna be rocking to the same beat.
We're going to be doing this in a similar way. We're going to be paying attention in ways that gives us similar outcomes. We're going to set similar causes in motion. Yes? Oh, y'all don't know what you're saying yes to. <laughs> ah! Yes, indeedy. So the, today, we, we shifted our devotional to include this morning Etika Luckett and Lisa Ferraro in, in their song, There Is Only One Life. And we may look at recording that so that we can include that ongoingly. You know, we're, we're going to look at how that serves us to begin our, our service with a focus of there's only one life and a knowing that that life is the life and that that life is perfect. And what? That it's my life now. Because when we put all that together in terms of our awareness, we can really go together. When we're on that same page, we can go somewhere together. Because we have set our anchor. We have grounded ourselves in a divine and perfect truth. So to support us in this, look at here. Our read for 2022 is... 365 days of abundance. Y'all game? If not, I'll just read it. But I thought I might be able to gather a little crowd and that we would read. So I'm going to take you through a little bit of that today, some from yesterday and, and uh, from today. So we are moving forward together in 365 days of abundance. I think we can do this. Yes? All right, so let's get going. For this is, this is um, I want them to put up the, the imagery of the cover of the book and the full title because it's how to create a life of wealth. I know y'all not interested in all of this. A life of wealth, happiness, wisdom. Come on now and all thy getting. Get thee some wisdom. And inspiration. Through the 12 universal laws, the principles of success, and his divine word. So there's only one life, that's the his. You, you following? This is kind of, this is like a title I might have written where somebody would just say, could you just use a few fewer words maybe? But I wanted you to get the whole thing because I'm really, if we're going to move together, I want it to be about something, Yes. So moving forward together, creating a life of wealth, happiness, wisdom, and inspiration. And to do that, we're going to be engaging the 12 universal laws, principles of success, and divine truth. Yes? Y'all must be ordering the book. Because y'all are paying me so little attention that I can't even get a righteous amen. But that's all right. I ain't mad at you. I'm not mad at you because you know you you know how to set priorities in your life. You like I can get the the video, I can watch this on YouTube or Facebook or something. But right now I'm a I'm a workout getting it because it is already January second, and because it is, I want to tell you the part of of what really sold me in a sense. I mean I was already in it. I I had a few choices, and it was really hard. I've been holding up the works because. A couple of things wanted to show up, so I'm going to share that with you a little later, but the, the affirmation for yesterday, New Year's Day, was I rise early, come on now, to spend time with my maker. I'm wanting us to rock with this, yes? I rise early to spend time with my maker. I rejoice in this day of life. And, and see, I'm wanting us to do this every day. Come on now. Y'all not, I know we're we going to move forward together. I know we're, that doesn't make us twins and quadruplets and all of that. But if we could do some of this together too, like agree to rise early to spend time with the maker and then have it be a part of our spiritual practice to rejoice in this day of life. So that would be every day. We do it. 
We did it yesterday. We're going to do it today. We're going to do it tomorrow. And then come December 31st, 2022, we're going to still be rejoicing in this day. Yes? All right. And then we're declaring, I am ready to give, to work, to love. I think that if we're moving together with that as our intention, with that working in, that's like our gas. We're putting that in the engine. Yes, I feel like we're working this out. I'm just, I'm trying to lay it out so that we can see where we're going. And, and you know, I don't, I don't want folks blindly just agreeing to go. I want you to have a sense of we're mapping this thing. Yes, so this gives you a sense of exactly what we're working to, to be. So on our adventure in faith, we just kind of stack in the deck. <laughs> Yes, so we're on an adventure in faith, but we're setting ourselves up so that we have a sense of how we're mapping this adventure. And here's how we're doing it. Yesterday, this was the reading, Universal Law of Divine Oneness. When I got here, I had already just intuitively, often I'm, I'm choosing more intuitively, not looking at the thing with my conscious mind, that is to say not reading it, but feeling it. Would you understand if I said that? Just kind of feeling it intuitively. And I got that it was this book and a couple of others, but when I read this, stuff started going off. I could see stuff, you see? So he, the, the author, Judy Marie Baloff, Somebody's going to figure out the pronunciation. But what I know is we, got, we get in the book and we're going to do the work and we'll work the rest of it out. She begins with Happy New Year and says, on this first day of the year, we start with the first of the universal laws, divine oneness. I was like, well, all righty then. That right there, that's where we want to begin is in divine oneness because this literally translates to God, the divine, the living one, the strong one in and as us, each and every one of us. So we're going to begin there to start whatever it is we're going to work with, yes? So this is a breathtaking thought, she says, to be one with the divine. We're not going to take that for granted. We're going to fall back in that. We're going to surrender into that. We're going to keep that in our awareness. As we move forward together, we do so knowing that we are one with, in, as the divine. We can and should live our days struck by the wonder of being not only connected, but having the holiness within us. I'm going to need a wipe in a minute. So we're moving through, we're beginning the year with an awareness of that we ought to be in awe. That we ought to just step back and be like, what? I am one with the one. I am one in the one. I am one as the one. Oh, Lord. And then take a nap after that. You, you understand what I'm saying? Because if you really think in this, like for real, for real, you're going to need a break. Because your mind may blow up, be like a cartoon, when an animation just poof. Just what? It's going to call you to go deeper, further inward in an awareness of what I've gotten myself into. As we're moving together in a deeper awareness. She says, many of us start the new year with lofty goals and aspirations for working out more or quitting smoking or changing our diets. All oh, manner. Y'all know who you are. We know who we are. She says, but let's also remember every day to think of the privilege it is to be alive. And see, this is easier for us in 2022. We don't feel quite so entitled in a kind of blanket way. We realize that folks have fallen to the left and to the right and right before us. 
that we never thought would be the experience. And so we, we're we grateful. We, we're living in, we're standing in an awareness of our gratitude to be alive, to breathe, to think, to enjoy, and to love. She says these laws are God's laws. And let's remember that his glory is in us in everything that we do. So sometimes as we go through this reading, there'll be language. Here, here's what I'm going to tell you is do not get hung up. Do not, tr- do not. <laughs> I thought better of saying, don't try me. <laughs> I heard my mother's voice. <laughs> that was, I heard my mother's voice so clearly, do not try me. Do not act like you can't get this because there's some language in it that causes your eye to twitch causes you to question some stuff. Do not, do not allow your spirituality, your awareness of the divine to be so thin that there's some language that you can't get past. Do not try me with this because this ain't that. Yes? You can read. I'm going to move on with that because I can just see that there's going to be some words that, but here's where we're going to land. We're going to land with, I rise early to spend time with my maker. That's what we're going to learn. And you're going to figure out maker because this may be the first time you've heard me use that word in, in the Sunday message, but you understanding what maker is. Divine creator, the all in all source. So I'm going to get up early, rise early to spend time with the one. And in this instance, the one is not your sweetie, but could become your sweetie. Yep, y'all understand what I'm saying. So, so I know you sometimes rise a little early to get with sweetie, but I'm just saying there's another sweetie. There's another sweetie working its way in. Yes? So you just in the proper order. Whatever that is for you. I'm not in your business. Just make sure you got a proper order and awareness to it. Yes? Somebody say, move on, Rev. (laughs) Get on to the rest of it now. So look, for January 2nd, which is today, because I know you don't necessarily, some of y'all are reading along on Kindle. I know you. I know my people. But look, here's what I want to share with you. For today, the... The topic is universal law of vibration. We're moving together, moving forward together in the universal law of vibration. She says the law of vibration states that everything in existence, both seen and unseen. And I need, I'm going to repeat that little part right there because we, we, we miss that sometimes. We want to focus just on the seen like there isn't a causal unseen that is directly related to it. So we are, this is a state, uh, the vib- law of vibration states that everything in existence, both seen and unseen, everything consist of pure energy condensed to a slow vibration. And the slow vibration is required so that you can discern it. The other vibrations, the faster, the higher vibration, you, we, we don't even know it is. Surrounding us always. Every now and then something happens in some of our lives where we, 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 we usually are so shattered in our shallowness that we can see and discern that there's another realm right there. Somebody will say something to us. We'll have an awareness. We might even see something that makes us aware that we are not alone in this universe. So I don't know what it will take for each of us, but I just want you to... See, if we're moving forward together, you're going to have to tune in to something beyond just what you see and hear in this realm. She says, the Bible tells us that God spoke everything into existence. And so he spoke into each of us a vibration for us to share with the world. 
But it's up to us which vibration we share. Watch yourself now. Because you're in the vibration, but you have access to a lot. What you're working with. I don't necessarily want to see it all. But I do want you to be thinking about, given that I have choice, given that I am at choice, and given that there's a divine vibration that is me, not just in me, that is me, what am I choosing to share? We're going to move forward together. We got to align our intention. If we choose to live on the higher vibrations of love, joy, and gratitude, we give that joy and love to others in our lives and we attract the same thing. What we focus on expands, increases. That's what that's saying. So choose carefully. Because if you act a fool, just saying. Have you ever been at the grocery store, she offers, and instead of talking on your cell phone or digging around in your wallet, you take a moment right there at the checkout to look at the one serving you? No, I don't mean look at, to see. See, there's a difference. Look at might have you say, I don't like the hair. Why is she wearing that color? Why didn't he get his whatever done? But if you see them, you see, we're moving forward together, and we don't know who else needs to come. You're going to have to see them, see yourself, and see everybody. See, I didn't, I'm, I'm choosing not to say others. It's easy to say others, but you might misunderstand. You might actually take it literally and believe there are others. And I can't afford to have that happen on day two of the year. Maybe about midway to year, we'll start talking others because we'll have a clear understanding of the context. But for right now, I'm declaring there are no others. Remember, the first law is oneness. We can't jump to others right there, okay? You could ask them in that instance as you see them. Ask them from your seeing, not as a passing question you ask everybody and then don't listen. How's your day going? How are you doing? How you feel? How you? That there's an inquiry that is born out of seeing, out of being with. Yes. If they look up and connect with you, she says, even for a moment, you've raised the vibration of both of you. See, you don't. This is not for you to give a little mini sermon. This isn't for you to pontificate to set them straight, to guide them to the light. It ain't none of that. It's to you to see them and for them to experience being seen. And for you to practice seeing. So that's the vibration that shifts both of you. And then, see, what this, this moving forward together is calling us to walk on by faith. <laughs> I, I don't think y'all fully understand what I'm saying here. That this notion of moving forward together <coughs> is walking on, moving forward by faith. But it's like faith in what? Yes. Because we all have faith in something. Not going there. Okay. So look. The affirmation that Judy, she doesn't mind me calling her Judy because by the end of the year, we're going to be so close. The, the affirmation that Judy is offering us for today is, I am living on the vibration of love and joy. And I will share that today with all whom I meet. I'm going to ask you to say that with me. Y'all, see, when I say that, you'll hear the ones, y'all at home and wherever you are, will hear voices in the room. I'm inviting you to say it, too. We're in this together. Do not let Zoom and Facebook and YouTube act like we separated, because what? There's only one. 
So we are doing this thing, and we are grateful that we can do it in this way that honors our being together in the room, because this is just, when I tell you it's a small group of people, they may be loud sometimes, but don't be fooled by their loudness, because they're just a few people in here. And it's because we, we want to keep the energy of togetherness so that when we are open, we're not moving. What we learned in this process of being sheltered in place is that to move from nobody to a lot of people is hard. And so it helps us to have just a few people all masked and keeping some distance and all of that. So we're, we're doing our best to be safe. And what we're going to add, y'all, is start asking you to double mask. If you all, let me just, can I, I'm sorry, I know this wasn't, a, I'm going to do it, but let me just say out loud that if you have one of the, um, there's an N95, but there's another one too that's also, okay, those are fine. But if you're not wearing that, we're going to ask you to double mask and we can supply just a surgical mask to add to that. Because today, if we're going to move forward together, we're going to move forward safely. So if yours is not a 95, you're going to want a double mask while you're here. Do what you want in your life. But remember, we're moving forward together. You don't want to be super safe here and then just raw in the world. Yes? Okay. So, so look, we're affirming together. I am living on the vibration of love and joy. And I will share that today with all whom I meet. Let's just pause and take that in. Look at here. In our launch for 2022, what I know for sure is that we cannot see in the future. We can't see around the corner. We can't see through the dark clouds. We cannot see all the pitfalls. But we must walk on by faith each day, moving forward together. And now our music ministry brings us walk on by faith. We cannot see all the dark clouds. We cannot see all the pitfalls. Walk on by faith each day.
she can see way down the road. Walk on by faith each day. And Laverta and Valerie Joy supporting and bringing it, bringing it home. My sense is that that will serve us well as a guide, yes, that no matter what, walk on by faith, yes. So the other, the other book that I really thought was going to be our read for this year, and I carried that awareness for a good while. So when something else started coming through, a couple of other options, I was really surprised and a little disappointed. But I'm, I'm. This is it. See, if we gonna walk, move, if we gonna move forward, and if we gonna walk by faith, you gonna have to give up what you think it ought to be. Ooh, Lord, that's been my lesson of late. That. It's not just for me to go with what I picked, what I thought, but to be open to what is the divine trying to tell me? What is this? So look, I had chosen guidance for a spiritual journey, which is a daily read by Dr. Dan, Daniel Morgan. And that's where I really thought we were going to rock. And so I'm going to share with you what he offers for January 2nd because it, it, it works. He entitles it Spiritual Vitamins. Come on, Dr. Dan. He says, no one can hold back a person who develops their personal power or inner power. The person who has bothered themselves sufficiently, done whatever was required of them to get command of their mental fitness is on their way to greatness. Now, you don't want to understand in due time mental fitness. That is to say that you are using your mind for the highest and best. Okay, there's an emotional element to this as well, but you got to be, you got to be in there in a level of self-awareness is part of what's, what's unfolding here. He says that that one, those folks who are willing to do that, they are taking spiritual vitamins. Spiritual vitamins supply us with a tremendous faith. Because what? We're going to be walking on by faith. So we're going to have to have our, y'all understand the metaphor, the idea here of you're going to have to take your spiritual vitamins in order to, to be truly ready and be supplied by the tremendous faith required by 2022. He says, spiritual vitamins create the mood wherein we can practice great belief. It's a practice. Believing greater. Believing there's, there's a higher and greater possibility for you, for all of us. I hope this is making sense. <clears throat> he says that spiritual vitamins generate the atmosphere which we need to restore ourselves. And you're going to need to be restored. Because what? We are moving forward together in order to keep up. We're going to have to do whatever is required. And part of that is self-restoration, restoring ourselves in many instances to sanity. Let's just be clear. And it guarantees healthful attitudes toward constructive purposes. He says, when you take spiritual vitamins, you come into the realization of life sufficiency and the power of the divine, divine source in your experience. You come into that knowing, understanding that truly there is a divine power behind, within your consciousness. And as you provide the conduit, the channel, the way that it can move and be, you express more and more of the goodness 
and the power of life. Moving forward together, this is our charge. Take your spiritual vitamins, heart and soul, so you can keep up. <laughs> Dr. Dan, in this piece for January 2nd, quotes William James. He says, you don't begin to make growth until you're tired. Now, y'all are smarter than I. I had to sit with that for a minute. And then I realized that sometimes it's not till I'm wore out that I can let something else happen. Sometimes I'm just like, no, I got this. I got this. I'm going to handle this. No, you, uh -uh, divine source. <laughs> I'm going to tell them. I'm going to work this out. Let, let, let me at them. And it's not till I'm woe out in the process. It's not until I say, you know what, I give up. <laughs> it's not until he says, you're tired. And look, he says that life is like a 10-story factory. When you've used all the equipment on the ground floor, I love this, though. He says, when you've used up everything, I've used all the machinery, you've learned all the lessons that can be taught on the ground floor. He said, and you ready to go up another level. He says, and I don't know why he skipped a second, but I don't want y'all trying to skip no floors. <laughs> so we're going to go, we're going to go from the ground floor to the second floor. And then we're going to get in there and see, oh, okay, this is another whole thing up here. Yeah, and then once I work out that, be like, woo-wee, I hope this is, oh, Lord, there's a third. And then you get to the third one and you find out, Lord, I never even thought of this. I didn't know nothing. I wasn't doing forgiveness because I misunderstood what it was. But now that I'm in here and I see what it really is, I'm going to be about it. I didn't understand that an eye for an eye was going to leave us all blind. And so I thought I could work out something else. But now that I'm on the third floor and, Lord, what's on the fourth floor? I'm scared now, but I can hardly wait to get there. You, you, you know how it is, right? I don't want to have to go to number four, but I, you can't keep me out. Because I know that there's going to be an expansion to how I be. This is, this is you. You see why you're going to need your spiritual vitamins. Yes. Somebody, Val, write that down. Because we're going to have to create some, you know, this is going to be, this is vintage heart and soul. <laughs> Do not get me started. It's too late. It's too late. I'm already started now. So spiritual vitamins, some heart and soul spiritual vitamins. We go, I'm a, I see it. Yes, it's come. Okay. So eventually, William James says, you see you have your whole 10-floor factory in operation. But you don't just get to run on up to the 10th floor. You're going to have to be by right of consciousness. You see what I'm saying? And don't be mad if you look up and you're like, okay, we all get in at one. But if you be, as you doing yours, you're going to look up and it's not going to be the same group. And you're going to want, uh, come on now, I know my people. You're going to want to stop what you're doing to interview somebody about whatever happened to Ambassador. He was here. Where's Tyrone? He was here when we got here. How'd they get up there? I want you, no, no, see. I need you focused on what's yours to do. And we're not, we're going for, we're moving forward together, but we're not going to be in lockstep. I tell you, we're not twins and triplets and quadra and all that. We're not that. We're going to be moving forward together, everybody with the intention of being at the 10th floor, but we're going to take whatever time it takes wherever we are to get what we're going to need to get so we can get to the next level. Because with this, nobody goes and then gets kicked out. You don't move until you're through with where you are. I'm scared, because I hadn't planned to say that. Oh, Lord. Because on this, we're moving forward together, so nobody gets kicked out. 
but you're going to have to do your work at the level that you are. And let me just say, and you don't have to like it. This ain't that. We're not going to be polling to see who likes it. Because this isn't about whether you like it. You just gonna have to take your spiritual vitamins and come on. Oh Lord, I need to go sit down and rest. <laughs> Ooh, I tell you, sometimes the talk is like I need to go get my journal and just do me. Okay, but I'm gonna I'm gonna do the affirmation because because then I'm gonna ask our Tammy and Liberta and Valerie Joy to. See, see, here's the thing. We don't always know where we're going. We're moving forward together, <laughs> right? We're moving forward together, but I don't, I'm not going to pretend to tell you that I know where we're going. I know we're going to the 10th floor, but I can't tell you what's there. I just know it's ours to go. Oh, y'all don't really get this. Because, because we, we want some, but well, what's on the 10th floor, Rev? Well, no, I need to know because I might not be, I don't know that I want to be on what's up there. And who's going to be there? You know, you know how we are. Who's going to be on the 10th floor, Rev? I'm not sure that I want to go because I don't want to be with just everybody. <laughs> like you're not already everybody. There is nobody that you can have an attitude about or that you not that. So I don't know who's already up there. And I don't know what's going on up there. And neither do you and none of us will know till we get there. And there's no running up there to check. <laughs> so don't even try the little side mission. If we just go go up there and see if it's going to be worth it. No, you're going to take your spiritual vitamins and we're going to go. Because we're on the threshold of something new. Look, I'm, 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 what I, what I'm, I'm sharing with you some lyrics that Valerie Joy wrote long time ago. We're on the threshold of something new and we're seeking a greater understanding we're going to have to take our spiritual vitamins so we can just come on go. Look, the affirmation that Dr. Dan offers us is today I propose to myself that I strike the right posture. Ha! That is, I am the center of God conscious life. I am intelligent. I am life. I am love. I am light. I am power. I am peace. I am joy. The spoken word, see what I say about me makes a difference. The spoken word has tremendous power when used for a definite and specific purpose. And I'm aware of that. He says, the Lord shall guide me continually. I affirm that I am divinely guided, guarded and protected into right action and I am governed by Christ indwelling spirit within me, as me. From Romans 8 and 28, all things work together for good for them that love God. He says you have to live with yourself. <laughs> Make sure you're good company. <laughs> Facing fears and playing by the rules. Valerie Joy wrote a song about it. Here it go. Don't know where I'm going, need a revelation on the threshold of something new. Seek some understanding, need to hear that voice. To know 
what's going on with my sins. Facing my fears and playing by the rules. Use constructive time to learn as you go. Utilize what you have. Know the consequence. Think things through. You need to know what's going on with your Sing your fears and playing by the rules. Tammy, give us some. Think about it. going on with ourselves. And here are a few rules. Responsibility integrity, authenticity, and humility, responsibility, integrity, authenticity, and humility. These are some rules. What are your rules? We all got some that we got to live by. Please use some humility. humility. Responsibility. Responsibility. Integrity. Authenticity. Authenticity. And humility. way we pray. I'm just going to ask you to come to inter, inner, rather, come to inner silence and stillness. Thank you, Tammy. And often what I choose to do on Sundays is to bring you a prayer, an ancient prayer, dare I say, Today's prayer is actually, I'm adapting a writing by Fenwick Holmes, Ernest Holmes' brother, from 1919. And 
I'm doing that because I want to encourage you to do the work. I want to encourage you and inspire you to, to go back and read some of the old works, some of what we quote, so that you can be lifted on your own, so that you can see something more, you can be engaged in a new way. And so I ask that you just join me in an attitude of divine availability to perfect spirit, to perfect source. And know with me, as I know that God is creative spirit, everywhere present, eternally here. In God is all life, intelligence, goodness, holiness, and truth. She knows no want. She suffers no pain. He is unlimited in time, space, and circumstance. I'm talking about the living one, the strong one, divine source, the all in all. Humanity is the child of God of the divine, and shares its resources. We live, we move, and we have our being in source. As an infinite sea, there is one mother, father, God of all, who is over all, through all, and in all. And I, as its child as its being. I therefore am pure spirit, free from ills of body, mind, and soul. In pure spirit I live, move, and have my being. I am perfect even as my Father in heaven is perfect. The breath which I breathe is the breath of the Spirit. The food which I eat is the gift of the Spirit, and it fills me with the strength of the Spirit. The consciousness of perfect Spirit is mine, and I know it, and I feel it flowing through my whole being, bringing with it strength, power, and perfect peace. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, and I feel its presence all around me, in me, through me. I am free from all sickness, worry, and fear. Perfect love cast out all fear from me, and I am free. Health, hope, peace, life, love, truth, and plenty are mine. And what I know for sure is that is what is true for me is simply true. It's not true just for me. It's true for all of us. And I claim this truth that is true for all of us, for all of us, from divine source. I do so in the name and nature of Christ consciousness. And I now receive and render thanks for the perfect gift. Oh, I just give thanks. I give thanks for the divine and perfect unfolding of this word. I know and I know that I know that it's not possible for it to return void, that it must absolutely produce in like kind. All that I've read, all that I've said, all that I'm feeling is true. And I give thanks. I give thanks for the divine transformation in me. I give thanks for the divine transformation of heart and soul. I give thanks for the divine transformation of the planet. I give thanks that we are all moving forward together on this adventure in faith. I'm grateful for all the tools, for the resources, for the spiritual vitamins. I'm grateful for everything provided. I give thanks for knowing what is required and being open as that expands, as that shifts, as that changes. I stay aware, I stay tuned in to see what is mine to be, what is mine to do. And I gratefully accept that that is mine to have. So in absolute perfect gratitude, I release this word 
turbocharging it with my tremendous faith and my willingness to know that it's done and done well in the divine, by divine source, now and forevermore. I release it into the law of love and let it be. Please join me in saying, Ashe. Amen. And so it is. Love matters.